Aloha, welcome to part four of the X-Files game. So we just checked out James Wan and uh, we asked him some questions. Now let's go meet up with S Assistant Director Skinner again. Uh, he's actually waiting at the car this time around, not in the creepy shed. Eat the corn? What? Okay. Graffiti! Those damn punks! Eat the corn! Ooh! That sedan's been following us since we left the field office. Who do you think it is? Someone who's interested in what we're doing. What should we do about that car? I think that's your call, Agent Wilmore. Do you think they know about Mulder and Scully? It's possible. Why don't you go ask them? <laughs> Alrighty then. So I'm gonna go up there and uh, I think I'm gonna show them my gun. Show them who's boss. Show them who's authority. <laughs> oh! 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 I don't think that went well. Ooh! <laughs> okay, so you don't want to aim your gun at the people in the sedan. Uh, there are two options you can do. You can pull out your camera, and that way when the car is speeding off, you can take a picture of the license plate and try and look it up. Why not? It seems like the best option if you ask me. Uh, you can also choose to look at it with binoculars, and that way you can get a good look at the license plate, and then we'll, we'll remember it. Or you could just walk up and it'll drive away. You don't want to walk up to it, obviously. But don't shoot point a gun at it, for Christ's sake. Who do you think that was? As I just said, someone is interested in what we're doing. I just wanted to show that there was a dialogue change. At first he's like, who do you think it is? And then you can come back and he'll be like, who do you think that was? Details like that. That's what I'm here for. That's what I'm pointing out. I'll be reviewing my notes in the meeting room. So, let's talk to Skinner in the meeting room. We got nothing better to do. Why were we being followed? I don't know, but whoever's involved in this case isn't afraid of the FBI. There could be an underworld connection. You think the blood belongs to one of your agents? I can't rule it out, but I'll wait for the test results before making a determination. I suggest you do the same, Agent Wilmore. What do you think that black powder is? I don't know, but if it's some form of contraband, it might help to explain Mulder and Scully's disappearance. I could run a DNA test on the saliva on that cigarette. Ah, that's a bit of a stretch, Agent Wilmore. I wouldn't waste my time. Is there any connection with the decline in fishing? I don't see any obvious connection. Port fishing isn't a federal offense. You think Wong is involved? I don't know. Did you get the sense that he knew more than he was telling you? He's definitely hiding something. A.D. Skinner, you've got a call on line one. This is Skinner. I understand. I have to go back to Washington immediately. I'll take some of the blood back to the lab in D.C. for analysis. I want you to begin surveillance on that warehouse tonight. These two agents are very important to me. Aww. And say goodbye to Mitch Pelleggi, everybody. That is uh, the end of Skinner in the X-Files game. We'll never see him again. So yeah, fun little cameo. He's in the show in case... Because I didn't mention that before. If you're not familiar with the show, Assistant Director Skinner is an actual character. Hey, I'll be right with you. Just let me finish this up. All right, we can't talk to Cook right now, but we can talk to our boss, Shanks. And now we're going to see what Shanks' whole role in this video game is. He is basically your guide. He can help you out when you're in a jam. Agent Wilmore, the prodigal son returns. So let's get some help, why not? We could use it. I could use some help with this case. Okay, let me review your notes.
You want to get that laptop working. Call the computer crimes division and have somebody take a look at it. It seems to me... You need to take your evidence to the uh, crime lab for processing. And... Uh, I'd run a background check on Wong. The rest of it looks pretty good. Well, I do say you can go to Shanks for help on what to do in this game, but literally, in discs 2, 3, and 4, he's never in the office. I swear to God, I keep going back to the office trying to get help with him, he's never there. Try all you want, He'll, he won't be at home for some reason. He won't! Hey pal, how's it going out there? I'm sure you're sucking up to Skinner appropriately. This conversation, out of every conversation in the game, has the most branching dialogue paths I've ever seen in, in any of the whole game. So, uh, enjoy. Well, I learned how to suck up from you, remember? Oh yeah, right. What's Skinner like? Kind of a tight ass. Hmm. Well... I'm sure he's torqued about his missing people. And now, all the many, many different responses. Well, they're still missing. Thanks for the bulletin. But really, anything I can do to help? Shoot me in the head? Tempting. But the Bureau frowns on that kind of fraternization. You're on your own. Story of my life. Well, you could always hang yourself with your shoelaces. You know, it could be better. Well, that's too bad. What's the problem? I just don't have much of a handle on what's happening here. This is a problem. Talk to me. There's no clear-cut event I can get my brain around. Maybe it's just working under Skinner. I know, I'd be nervous if it were me. Yeah, it could be that, I guess. It's going good. Cool. What's Skinner like? He and Shanks should have babies. Hmm. Well, I'm sure he's torqued about his missing people. We found blood at a location they called? I don't know, I got a bad feeling. Hey, you know the drill. Wait for the test before drawing any conclusions. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you're right about that. None of these leads makes any sense. Well, give it some time. We don't have time. I hear you. I don't, I don't have all the information. Something is missing. So, get back out there. No, it's not that. The field work is fine. It's something else. Like what? Something hidden? Something I can't see? You think Skinner's involved? I don't know. I'm just not thinking very clearly. Have you been sleeping? Good God, how many options are there? Not a wink. No wonder you can't think. You better do something about that. Yeah. Not very well. That's not good. <laughs> Maybe you should see a doctor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little. Good. A little's better than none. Like a baby. Well, that's something. Hey, listen. If you need anything, you just let me know, okay? Thanks, man. What's with the laptop? Oh, Scully's. It's password protected. You want me to call Computer Crimes Division and see what they can do? Cook is the best friend. Seriously? Sure. You got it. No problem. So yeah, we could have called Computer Crimes and uh, got the laptop to do... You know, could have got them to ha fix the laptop and whatever, but uh, Cook couldn't do it for us. So anyway, let's look on... Uh, look up... James Wong, the fisherman that we investigated uh, last part, and uh, just look up his information, just see if he was being straight with us, because, you know, people can lie to us, and then we can go bust him. Okay, dishonorable discharge in the army after he lied about his age to enter the service. Um, you didn't mention that. Assaults, robbery, oh, armed robbery. Possession of stolen property. Possession of a controlled substance. Oh, Jesus Christ. This guy's an asshole. Possession of stolen property. No mention of a wife and kid. Oh, fucking James Wan. 
You fucking... I was investigating you, and you were all chummy and smiley, and, you know, you told me not to do that when I aimed my gun at you. And you're a fucking liar? That's horseshit. I'm going right back to that dockside warehouse. I'm going right back to that warehouse. I'm going to go to that boat, and I'm going to give him a piece of my mind. All right, Juan. Let's see what you have to say to my gun this time, you son of a bitch. You freaking... Ah, he's gone. Damn it. Well, let's go to the crime lab to uh, hand off our evidence to our friend John Amos. Why not? I gotta stop saying why not. Really badly. Hey, Mr. Wilmore. Good to see you. It's been a while. Hey, John. How have you been? Bored. I hope you have something real exciting for me. I do my best. So, what have you got? You working on anything good? Nope. It's been very slow. I count on you FBI guys to keep my life interesting. What's this, blood? Very good. You got a target to match it to? I can tell you the blood type, but without a target for a DNA test, there's not much I can do. What's the case? A couple of missing FBI agents. We think the blood may belong to one of them. That's too bad. I suggest you have the Psy Crime Lab in DC run it. They could probably match it against the uh, current agent database pretty quickly. One slug. Looks like a 38. It's not in very good shape. Standard stuff, I guess? Uh, yeah, I dug it out of a hunk of wood. You got it. What have we here? You're gonna have to do better than this. I can tell you right now what this is. It's industrial grade lead. Lead? Yeah. Why lead? I don't know. It's uh, used for anything from weighing scuba divers to lining x-ray vests. Pretty common stuff. Is there any reason why someone would treat this like contraband? Nope. It's neither illegal nor sexy. There's no reason why anybody should want or need to smuggle it anywhere. No thanks, I'm trying to quit. That's very funny. Thank you. One Morley cigarette butt. I'll give it the once over. How's your wife? Ex, you mean? She's good. She's taking the kids to her mom's for Easter. Yours? My wife? No, your ex-kids. Yeah, your wife. Good, I guess. We haven't really spoken in a while. Hey, don't you owe me a dollar? <laughs> From what, that basketball game? No way, that crooked partner of yours cheated. Cook? He never cheated a day in his life. Don't hold your breath over that buck. The boys in the crime lab are officially protesting. A dollar, Wilmore? Are you so desperate for a dollar? And hey, let's show him Mulder and Scully. I don't know anything about that. All right, it's worth a shot. And you want my FBI badge? I don't want that. Ugh. <laughs> and yeah, you're going to see that all the citizens in this game have the exact same responses. Where is JFK's brain? I think it was all over the grassy knoll. <laughs> is that offensive? Should I not make a JFK died joke? I don't know. Anyway, folks, Skinner wanted us to check out that dockside warehouse, so let's go back there now that we've handed off our evidence. There's a car that's pulled up, and we probably don't want to walk up to it because we don't know who it belongs to. It could belong to the two guys who shot me cold dead at the beginning of this part, so, uh... I don't want to agitate those two, whoever they are, these mystery men. This might be the time where you want to start saving the game. Since it's dark, those two guys are obviously armed and dangerous, and I don't know what the fuck they're going to do. But uh, all you have to do is push start and go into the menu, and you can save. Obviously, you need a memory card, a PlayStation 1 memory card, but you all know this. Why am I even talking about this? So we're going to go in the back door, not the front door, because we don't want to get shot. And uh, use your lockpick to open up the back door. I gotta get me one of those. Seriously. 
for whatever reason, it is pitch black. Like, not even night vision goggles help out this place at all. Basically, all you need to do is you have to go right, straight, straight, left, then straight again, and you're pretty much there. Way too damn dark. But these guys are pulling something out of the floor. Well, let's go say hi. Oh, there's a guy up there. Jesus. Uh, well, we're dead, but uh, we'll come back to life in part five.